Hi, my name's Alan McNish. And we're here in Le Mans to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the 24 hours. This is where the tires are all fitted to the rims, taken to the teams to ensure that the 37 cars actually have got the right tire for the right time of this very difficult race. We'll take you behind the scenes and give you a little look of what happens between now and then. We're now in the heart of the preparation phase. This is where Michelin fits all of the tires for all of the teams. 8,000 tires are through there, waiting just in case they need to be fitted. Wet tires are being put on just in case. And then you've also got the slicks. The slicks are within three compounds, soft, medium, and hard. And that very much depends on not the air temperature, but actually the track temperature is the critical point. So right now we're preparing for the strategic meetings, the strategic decisions that the team will make, the Michelin engineers will make right in the heart of the race itself. But one thing's very clear, I think we have enough tires. So tires don't make themselves. You need a lot of brains to be able to, first of all, design them, put them into simulation, and then to actually produce them themselves. Let's have a little look behind the scenes in the simulation area. Come on then, tell us what are we doing here today? So here is the, what we call the, the data room and it's here that uh, we treat all the data uh, to make sure that uh, everything is going well. So we analyze everything, after that uh, we can uh, improve. Uh, we can evolve the preconization to the team and also we have guys at uh, Clermont-Ferrand that uh, can drive our simulator to make uh, some uh, input replay. We can take decision, help the team, help them in the tire strategy during race. I think we should let you guys get back to work because 24 hours is a lot of preparation, 37 cars, then definitely you're going to be, I would say, square eyes at the end by looking at all of these pictures. So, yeah. see you later everybody. Thank you. So as you can see, there's a lot more goes into this than necessarily just simply fitting a tire and sticking it onto the car. It's live and active all the way through the 24 hours and that's the only way that Michelin can maintain its 100% success record since 1998 when it's been the outright victor in every single 24 hours of Le Mans. Here you've got one of the best views of the track. The Ford chicane and the entry to the pits as the drivers are coming in to change tires, to refuel and to change drivers and go back out again to put the next set of tires through exactly the same stress and load as they did the previous. What an incredible race. The 100th anniversary of the Mod 24 hours. 100 years after Shenard Walker won it on Michelin tires, it's been won by the champions of 2023. Ferrari have done it on their comeback. They've taken the trophy. Congratulations to them for a superb effort.